When am I going to get to meet Drunk Tony? Literally whenever. Tane and I go drinking all the time and nobody Are ever we... comes with us. That's because well, you guys go drinking yeah, on Friday and Saturday nights. The nights that people go drinking. You never invited me on Saturday. We, I literally you invited you last Fridays Saturday. I can't, did you? Yes. yes. The last one was on Saturday. Well, when I almost, reason, fair, when I almost fair, fought the you skelly you boy. Have you could have been there. To be fair, I already had plans at that point. Okay. I yeah, apologize. But you could have been there and you would have helped me fight skelly boy. I have do kind of want you to fight Skelly Boy. See, let's go fight Skelly should Boy. Should you tell that story to the audience? You okay? Retell me that story because I honestly forget most of it. So, <clears throat> Tana and I were drinking. So it's fall season, so they started bringing out porters, and porters are my jam for beer. I love porters. So they had three different ones, but they're all seven point five to eight percent. And I have two. I feel a little buzzed. And then Tannen goes, I'm driving, you can get whatever, because there was another one I wanted to try. And that was all the convincing it took for me. Yeah. So I chugged that one too. And then Tannen also gets another one. So Tannen's too drunk to drive. So we walk to Steak and Shake. We order, we're eating, we're both drunk. It's a good time. Then I'm pretty sure the audience knows because we made jokes about it. I have a thing for girls wearing hats. Yes. It's... Cancers. Cancers is thing. <laughs> we make fun of it a lot. Yeah. I. But, like, it's just true. If a girl's wearing a hat, she immediately goes up two points on the ten-point scale in my mind, no matter what. Which huh. is odd. I'm not sure why covering half of her head. I, d- I don't know. I couldn't so tell I you, but hats eight, are just... I go from a ten to an eight. <laughs> yeah. Hats uh, are ten. Hats are just... Ten to twelve. <laughs> hats are just super sexy to me. So a girl comes in wearing a super sexy hat, and she sits down, and... What's- What's the difference between a regular hat and a sexy hat? I think it was like a, a cowgirl sombrero. hat or sombrero. Uh, actually, a I think sombrero. I think beanies are the sexiest hat. That's just me. Okay. So just then you a... see me wearing a beanie <clears throat> next time I'm over. I'm like, <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> Dude, notice anything new? <laughs> yeah, I, I whip my hair into a hat. <laughs> see anything new? <laughs> <laughs> the hat flies off. <laughs> no, no, you're an idiot still. <laughs> So, she sits down at the booth directly behind us. Um, like, her yeah, seat yeah, yeah, is yeah. connected to Tannen's seat. She's way too close. Yes. And I go, dibs on the girl behind you. Tannen goes, that was really loud and she definitely heard you. And to which I respond, don't care, she's wearing a hat. And I call dibs with girls with hats. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> if you knew that, you wouldn't have to say it audibly. <laughs> I was really drunk. She turns around and just kind of like looks at me. And I, she's she's uh, judging. Yeah, judging me. Yeah. I think she's looking back because she's like, oh, that guy called dibs. Well, no, no, no. So I, I raise my hand to wave. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. <laughs> I was really drunk. I I don't usually have confidence. When I drink, I have just like an ounce of confidence. So like, that's not an ounce. An ounce you have that's like a lot. You just gallons of overflowing confidence. confidence. Yeah, that's like a <laughs> no. Faucet it was just shooting it was, out confidence. It was stupidity that she heard me. I definitely didn't mean to say it loud enough for her to hear. The ounce of confidence is when she turned to look, and I was like, "Oh, maybe she's not judging me." Hey, no. Well, when I said judging, also, I didn't mean strictly negatively. She was judging, like to see. She was summing you up, seeing how <laughs> yeah, she yeah, thought yeah. about you. Is, 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 is this dibs worth it? And so then Tannen's like, she's looking, <laughs> and, and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then her boyfriend comes up, and I'm like, ah. Oh. And Tannen's like, this is probably her boyfriend. He, it's Halloween. Or it's not Halloween, but it's Halloween weekend. People are doing things for Halloween. Yeah. He's dressed as a skeleton. And I go, whatever. He's just some fucking skelly boy. <laughs> and Tannen, and Tannen's like, so what? And I go, well, I can beat a skelly boy in a fight. Tannen grabs my arm and knocks on my bones and like on my <laughs> hand and goes, there's a skelly boy inside of you. How are you going to beat another skelly boy? To which I grab some of my skin and lift it off. And yell, that's because I have the meat on me, and skelly boys with the meat beat plain old skelly boys. And I just scream that in the middle of Steak and Shake at 1 a.m. And her boyfriend's just staring at me. That's great. And then Tannen was like, are you finished with your food? 
I nodded, <laughs> and he goes, good, because we're fucking leaving. Go. <laughs> I hope he had to have heard you. Oh, absolutely. And also, I like to think that <laughs> she heard him. filled him in on the other thing. So he's like, he's like, is this guy going to fight me? And she's <laughs> like, well, I'm wearing a hat, and he does call dibs on girls with hats. And he can be Skelly Boys. <laughs> he's got the meat, and you're just a Skelly Boy, sweetie. I love you, but don't do this. I might love You'll him lose. lose. <laughs> I wanted to go back and talk to her. I was convinced. Maybe that was her she, brother. She was the one. Could have been. Yeah. Maybe he was just as like into you getting her as he as you were. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really want to see you bone my <laughs> Maybe they have a weird incest family. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's not how any sibling thing works unless if it's like brothers. And even that's hit and miss. <laughs> Like Brandon wants to yeah, we love come watching each other bang. <laughs> you definitely shouldn't have said that at the time that you did, and also while pointing to Blake. And they're like, yeah, they like watching each other bone, and you're like, nah, that's just brothers. <laughs> Not that portion. Um, well, of course others, they like to watch each other. I was bone talking about Skelly boys. I was talking about hooking each other up with people. Yeah, like I had Snapchatted this girl, and you know was flirty and her brother picks it up and answers it and so you're flirty with him too yeah and so Ooh, he sends boy. it back with a middle <laughs> finger and he's got like the hairiest knuckles ever and i'm just like <laughs> and you sent him a picture of your dick fuck yeah i did and you're like with the hairiest dick ever, ever. <laughs> <laughs> dick <laughs> my dick with the hairiest knuckle ever <laughs> I'll Photoshop a knuckle. <laughs> You're gonna Photoshop on his penis? You're gonna look at Brian's penis that Listen, okay, for the joke. <laughs> for the joke, I will sacrifice. Oh, god damn it. I, I want to meet drunk Tony so bad. I want to. We should all go and get drunk all the time. I'm super all down. The, all the time. time. <laughs> Literally well, every, here's every day. First of all, drunk Blake is super happy. Mm -hmm. And He's he doesn't great. like to get into trouble. Cool. He likes to be cool. You know, and it's fun. weird. He's Me surprising. Too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's weird because, like, um, whenever drunk Blake has to do something, I'm very level headed. He had been drinking one day, and like, you know, it was like a shit day at work, so he was drinking like the second he got home. Not that much. It doesn't take much to get him drunk anymore. Um, so Pam asks him to go out to get something, and then I probably had like at most a six pack. Yeah, but and, you know, I I drink. Good beer, so right. Good so he's beer. just so he's just sitting there like I've been drinking. I probably shouldn't, but then he immediately realizes that we got to go to GameStop. <laughs> <laughs> so he's Obviously. like, you know what? <laughs> Have to. All right. So I drive and we go to GameStop for whatever reason. But he was, uh, he yeah, he was on it. We went to Best Buy, GameStop. Like he was oh. awesome the entire time. And like laughs at any joke. We're just giggling and laughing our asses he's off. He's the perfect audience member. He is the perfect audience member. He is your best friend when he's drunk. He's everybody's best friend. He's like an imaginary friend. I have to have a designated sober carer every time I get drunk. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. Next that was time. that was a thing at our parties. There was always someone assigned to watch just... over me. Not not the sober person to watch over everyone. It's just a sober carer to watch over Tony. <clears throat> yeah, there would be sober people watching over everyone at the party, and one's job would be specifically to follow me nice. and make sure I didn't do anything stupid. That's but really good. At these parties, Tony's also the same one that when somebody would then go, "Okay, I'm gonna do this. Don't go anywhere." In that <laughs> instant, Tony's gone. There's one time I was just the opposite, hiding upstairs in our house because we had a like a small house thing it, it was weird it was like three stories it's hard to describe um but we would have parties there and it was old and run down and there were holes in the second floor and what the person caring for me sat me down and was like i just need some water please just stay where you are <laughs> and they turned their back and i got up and just like crawled across the floor <laughs> up the stairs and i'm just i go to the hole where i can see the chair where i'm supposed to be sitting and just wait <laughs> and then i see him come back and he just goes uh, and his, he moans and his shoulders fall and he goes 
Tony's gone! <laughs> and everybody who's sitting downstairs goes, oh shit! And everybody gets up and they run outside because that's where they assume that I've gone. But so you tricked them. That's a, where Tony's always go. And there's a wooded area and a road and I routinely disappear down both. Just into the woods or just running down the road. Yeah, yeah. And, an and so I'm just laying upstairs laughing and my big comes up and I'm rolling on the ground drunk laughing and he goes... What you doing, bud? And I was like, everybody's looking for me because they think I'm lost. And he just grabs my hand and he's like, that's great. Let's go downstairs and tell them we found you. <laughs> nice. God damn it. My still two favorite stories of Tony's are peeing Tony and then Tony that almost got Tony in trouble. The peeing one was good. Uh, my friend was drunk and he was trying to pee, but he couldn't because people were leaving the house and he was peeing directly outside the house mm. and he was having stage fright. So I just whipped my dick out and was like, I'll pee next to you and just immediately started peeing. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. <laughs> That's which, not helping him pee anymore. <laughs> which he told me helped, but I think he was just trying to be nice. Yeah, I think he and was. then everybody else was trying to stop me because I was one falling backwards <laughs> and so my other friend is holding me up and facing me in a certain oh, direction because right, i'm trying to they have all of the garbage from the party because this was as the party was ending it's all sitting next to the stairs that we are peeing next to and i keep trying to turn to pee on the garbage <laughs> and they keep my friend keeps saying why do you keep trying to pee on the garbage to which i keep drunkenly responding because when the people come back, they'll pick up garbage, but they'll also be touching my pee. <laughs> pee shit. My friend's like, you're actually a garbage person. <laughs> and then I made everybody, <laughs> while my pants were still down... <laughs> Carry me to the car like Superman while I drunkenly sang the Superman theme song. Like, there were four people, one holding, two holding my legs and two holding my arms while I sang the, the Superman theme song. Ba -ba -da -da. Dong out <laughs> on the way to the car. <laughs> and then I threw up everywhere. Nice. See. The last few times I've been drunk have been uh, interesting. Last time I stole a sign. Like a stop sign. You touched a stop sign? No, I stole <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, That's what I heard when the VM started. <laughs> That's when I was drunk, I touched a stop sign. So it was right after Anthony Jesselnick, and uh, we go to this uh, frat house, sort of. Like, you know how some frat houses are like people live in them, and they're, but some Fraternity are just like. House. They're the same thing. No, they're not. <laughs> okay. We don't call them frat houses. That's the distinction. Keep going. It's actually a fraternity in this house. <laughs> fraternity in this. So anyway, continue. This would be a fraternity house. Cool encyclopedia. <laughs> Where it's more like an association that they're all just—it's like a fucking math club, but they're like chemists or something. Okay. Yeah, it's a chemist club. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Technically. Yeah, chemistry club. Whatever. I, I hope you describe everything like that. Like, it's like a math club, well, but they were they learning English. English. <laughs> it's like a chess club, but they were playing football. <laughs> so it's a football team. Where do you work at? It's it's kind of like a math club, but we teach kids karate. <laughs> <laughs> so we go back there, and we realize that we're bored. So he's like, oh, there's this place called The Rooftop, and it's, you know, uh, like, it's cheap drinks night. So we go there, and for three bucks, you can get this at uh, the AMF. And adios, motherfuckers. Yeah, adios, motherfuckers. It is a giant blue drink that tastes delicious. It's so good. And it's essentially like the same thing as a Long Island, but you know, without the cola, and they put some blue shit in it. Anyway, the other two guys are they're like halfway down, and I've already finished two. I remember getting a third one, and after that, everything kind of like blips in and out. So I don't really know if I drank more after that. I know I drank at the show, too. So at one point, we're leaving, and we go, we go to a food truck. Um, I get a pizza-flavored, like, fucking grilled cheese. That sucks. It was actually really good. Okay. <laughs> so weird. Um, it's like a math club, but it's pizza. <laughs> but it's a pizza, pizza grilled pizza. cheese. <laughs> So, and we're just kind of drunkenly strolling around, and one of them takes us into the chemistry building, because that's where he does all his schoolings. 
<laughs> you went into an academic building drunk? Yes, yes. We were in the academic building, wandering around. He's like, this is my class. And I'm just like... At, granted, at this point, both of them are holding my hands because I can barely, like, function. Yeah. Um, you, you get me. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> I, I totally it understand being carried there. around everywhere. Oh, that's it, my it, fucking jam. See, that's dog. just it. Like, like, we were, like, strolling around... Friendsburg. ...trying to get back to the fraternity house, and we see a stop sign that's kind of, like, slanted over. Like, you could tell somebody had been fucking with it or kicked it or something. And so we're just like, that's ours now. <laughs> and we all just like fucking yank it out of the ground and walk it the fuck back to his place. And now there is a stop sign in his house. Nice. I nice. think that's a felony. <laughs> Probably. I have, what, third base? I mean, we carried house. it like three blocks. Uh, Was it first base? It's first. Yeah, I have first base in my house. Because I was making a joke. I was like, <laughs> you got the first base <laughs> in your house? That sounds like the most awkward way the to try worst, seduce a girl. Like, Would you like to come back to my house and have first base? <laughs> <laughs> I've got... Well, I remember when it happened, uh, I made the joke. It was funny because first base is the only base you can't steal. Yeah. But we stole it. <laughs> we, we stole, stole it. first base. <laughs> I've got See, a I, I was trying to find sign. a rape joke in that, like from the from the pickup line thing. Cool. <laughs> well, really, it's not like that. Just be kissing, really, wouldn't it? Like, a girl that doesn't want it, I guess. Yeah, well, that you can't say that. That's like sexual assault, but it's not rape. Everything fucking counts as rape, according to everybody now. Oh, okay. <laughs> That that didn't paint you in a good light, I don't think you did. Yeah, it's sexual assault, but I'm not raping him. So <laughs> it doesn't really matter. It's like one level below rape. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, did you see I mean, what she was wearing? She was asking to be sexually assaulted. His rapes on the spectrum of sexual assault. Yeah. <laughs> you just quoted two cops that got arrested, that are, are under investigation and suspended because they had sex with a girl they arrested in Ugh. the back of a van. They yeah. handcuffed. They handcuffed her, and, and they're like, "No, it was consensual. She wanted to. She just wanted to watch. She was handcuffed." So to say, she's handcuffed. And their exact quote was, "You never handcuffed a girl." I was going to yeah, say, it, "I almost exclusively handcuff women." <laughs> <in that thing. laughs> I handcuffed myself. Quote that we'll use was, well, I mean, if you're a well, cop look at what she was wearing them in a van. There's a little bit of a difference in handcuffing them to the bed. And they can still give consent. Like Maybe if she they wanted to, but to she probably the didn't. Van just yeah. was handcuffed, handcuffed inside and of inside of the van. Why did they have a van? I've never that seen would a police be my van. Favorite. If a, a cop van. is arresting me and he's like, I need you to get in this van. <laughs> That's the I'm first like, question. No. Bring I'm me not a under, car. I'm not under arrest anymore until you bring me a car. <laughs> I say no, and then you walk away. <laughs> yeah. Unless it was like one of those paddy wagons. Uh, yeah, if it's like a police van, but yeah. if they're just like, I'm going to put you in handcuffs and put you in this white van because you're under arrest. I'm like, you're going to have to tase me because I'm not getting in a van with you. Not fuck. Unless if there's a bunch of like sketchy looking assholes in the back of that van. So I know that we're all going to the same prison. <laughs> They've <laughs> also been raped. <laughs> Unless there's bodies in there and I know that he's going to murder me. I'm not getting in the van. Yeah, that's fair. I know he's going to murder me. <laughs> well, that'd be the exact reason to get in. What if in. it's rape then I'm murder? Huh? What if he rapes you, then murders you? Oh, at this point, it might be worth it. Yeah, he makes Oof. a fair argument. You hear that, rapists of the world? <laughs> rapists uh, and murderers. I'll take a dick if you assist me in suicide. Go watch the <laughs> Halloween video, gauge how Tony looks, and then come and get him if you please. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you please. <laughs> Maybe just don't, and you can just come here. And <laughs> tell me I'm pretty. Tell me I look good. I like how now the instance is Tony never gets picked up by a rape van, and now he feels like he's ugly to all rapists. This is great. Be good for my self esteem, probably. <laughs> rape him. Rape him. Someone's so doing fun. it. And then they stop and they're like, I don't oh, like God. this. Why anymore. am I doing this? <laughs> no, don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> Please. I feel like it was you guys that told me about one of your the one of your friends who's a guy who got drugged and led into a room by a girl. Alan said that. Alan was Oh that yeah, chicken Larry. skin tits. Alan <laughs> <laughs> chicken skin tits. I remember that story now. I remember chicken skin tits. I'm, like, I'm more than positive because I think it was you two that I was telling me about it because I think that was the one time I met Alan. Alan's kind of like you in the sense that he has an, an abundance of crazy ass stories. You don't know if any of them are true, but you hope. So anyway, he was telling us that like we used to live in this apartment complex and he went to a party in that apartment complex. At that time and place, he ended up getting 
drugged or something. He had had something that he didn't want while he was drinking. And then he wakes up in a bedroom with a lady as she's taking off her clothes. And she lifts up the shirt and her boobs go from here all the way down. (laughs) And he was trying to get into it for the life of him. And he touched him and he told me, he was like, this was the worst thing I've ever felt in my life. It was like literally touching chicken skin, like on a raw breast. (laughs) (laughs) Actual gag. Yeah. And he's like, and immediately at that point I had to get up and leave. So that he was just like, I'm good. And then he walks out. I'm out. Like a fucking hero. And then he goes outside, blacks out again. And when he wakes up, he's in a car with a potted plant next to him that is seat belted into the car in the passenger care, seat. Yeah. Wow. There's been quite a, did, quite you know, a many times. Did he rape the plant? Probably. Okay. <laughs> so in my head, you were like, like a hero. And then in my head, I was just like, my favorite heroes. There's Superman. There's Spider-Man, and then there's the guy that reviews sex with chicken <laughs> chicken skin tits. <laughs> My three favorites. I hope I wanted you to just forget the rest and stop there, and the guy that reviews sex with chicken. <laughs> <laughs> he said no to having sex with chicken. My hero. <laughs> a real idol to live by. <laughs> Don't fuck the turtle. That's a hard-ass game. Those turtles are sexy. So... You said your favorite Tony stories was the peeing story and one other one. What was the other one? The one where Tony got almost got himself in trouble at school. Oh, That's yeah. There's been okay. a lot of different ones. Which one was that? <laughs> the one where you were there, you guys weren't supposed to be drinking on campus, and they were trying to take you back to your dorm, like, we gotta avoid this person. And you're like, there he is! Oh, Jeremy. Yeah, so <laughs> I try not to be drunk in, like, the academic buildings, That's why I asked specifically when I was like, you guys were fucking in academic buildings? Because I try to avoid academic buildings because that's how you get in trouble. (laughs) The first one, we were coming back from a party and I'm trashed and I'm with a couple people. They're not trashed. And we see, uh, he was the dean of something, (laughs) but I can't remember exactly what his exact job title was. But also he was the head of our fraternity council. For he was the kind of go between between the school and the council, mm-hmm. so, so like we're coming back from a fraternity party and we see this guy who we probably definitely shouldn't be drunk in front of, and my friend just goes, "Just be cool, let me talk and roll with it." And I was like, "Gotcha," <laughs> <laughs> which is exactly what I said. And we get up and he starts talking to Jeremy, and in my mind. I'm like, this is going to be an awesome bit. Roll with it. And I get on the ground and start rolling away from Jeremy. And Jeremy goes, have you had a little to drink, Tony? And I'm rolling away from him. And I'm like, nope. (laughs) And he goes, that's great. I'm going to go. And he just, he's like, I never saw you. And he just walked away. (laughs) But in my mind, I was like, this is such a good bit. As that was I'm good. Rolling on the ground. <laughs> that was a really good bit. You told me to roll with it. I got him. He was not happy. Like, my friend was not happy with me. I would have died laughing for my bit. <laughs> that was good. Um, second story. Second story. Same building. Uh, I got trashed on, like, a like a Tuesday night. Cause nobody I didn't, gets trashed on a Tuesday <laughs> I didn't have any class, and so nobody's drunk with me. And I'm hammered. I finished, like, a fifth of vodka while watching TV shows with my girlfriend. Um, and she had to go do something. So she went to an academic building. And I was like, I'll go visit her for fun. Like, whoa, it'll be fun. And so I leave. It's like January. Uh, and I make it halfway through our university center. And I'm like, why are my feet wet? Like, what happened? And I look down. I didn't put shoes on. I was just wearing socks and it had been snowing. <laughs> yeah, so I was just wide walked through the snow in my socks and shorts. Like, I didn't put pants on or anything. I was in shorts and socks nice. walking through our university center in the middle of winter. And I get to the library and, like, I'm just stumbling and I look in and CJ's working at the library at this time. And so I'm, I look in and I see him and I wave both hands and he goes... <laughs> 
like he squints his eyes, <laughs> points at me, and I can make out the words drunk. <laughs> and I burst into the library very loudly, and I go, yes! <laughs> and everybody turns and looks at me, because it was the bottom floor of the library. All the books and stuff are on top. Bottom floor is just like computers and some lounge chairs for people to do homework in. Mm-hmm. It's like nine on a Tuesday. People are doing shit for their like actual college lives and here's this drunk asshole in the middle of the library being super fucking loud and so i go up to cj talking really loud and he goes i'm gonna have somebody come get you and i was like no no i'm going on an adventure right now and he's like you're not wearing fucking shoes (laughs) it's 16 degrees out right now (laughs) and i was like you're making good points but i'm gonna go anyways and this is where Carly Rae Jepsen turned on me. Because this was right after Call Me Maybe had come out and got really popular. And she released the new video, I Really Like You, mm-hmm. with Tom Hanks singing in it. Like, Tom Hanks... I never saw that one. Yeah, Tom Hanks lip syncs the whole song. It's nice. hilarious. It's great. Yeah. But CJ's, like, that was number one trending on YouTube. And CJ's like, do you want to see Tom Hanks sing a Carly Rae Jepsen song? And I'm drunk. And so, obviously, yes. <laughs> <Duh>. <laughs> And I'm like, yeah, but, like, I'm not going to be able to stay for the whole thing. I've really got to get out of here. You're like, you've texted people to come get me. And he goes, oh, no, I'll remind you. And I'm like, yeah, of course he'll remind me about the people that texted to come get me. So I'm like, yeah, okay, sweet. So we start watching it, and it, it's delightful. And so I, I watch the whole thing through, and I'm like, that was great, but I do have to get out of here. And you, I can tell CJ's trying to find ways to get me to stay, so I know they're getting close. Yeah. I'm like, okay, now I know. And I turn, and he goes, Tony, wait. And I turn, and my girlfriend and her friend are walking in the door, and no. she's unhappy. <laughs> she's the one that CJ texted to come come get me and she's like are you drunk right now and i turn to cj and just go and <laughs> motion my hand across my neck and turn back to her and go nope <laughs> and she goes you're wearing shorts and no shoes and cj told us and i was like fucking narc and then she said we have to go back and i yelled i want to go on an adventure and she was like no you're not going on an adventure we're going back to your dorm and you're going to bed so i like an adult fell on the ground and refused to move. Like, I was just laying there and she was trying to pull me and I was like, I'm not going to go. I'm going on an adventure. And then CJ had to come and pick me up and force me back to my dorm. Wow. (laughs) Drunk Tony's my fucking hero. Because I'm also a fucking toddler when I'm drunk. Like, you know, okay. my, my solution to not wanting to go back was like, you know what a four year old would do? Lay on the ground and throw a fit. That's what I'm going to do. That's what drunk Tony is for. I don't know if you should be around people that will encourage you to do these things. <laughs> That's why I'm around. <laughs> That's why there's always a sober monitor to be like, hey, sit, don't. <laughs> yeah. But then you do even more. See, like. Under certain scenarios, okay. The sober like monitor also honestly, has to punch even him. if yes. I even if I had been able to complete a hundred burpees while hammered, I probably wouldn't have fought the black guy. But that was more talk. You were gonna but, go up to him. I don't know. I I should have just I, let you. I, I would have let you see how if that you had out. let me go up to him. I probably would have been like, "Hey, we were gonna fight, but I would have jerked you off instead, <laughs> and then I would have walked away." And we probably he probably would have beat the shit out of me. Yeah. But like, you gonna I touch would, my dick? I wouldn't have <laughs> actually <laughs> fought him. Like, most of the time, it's just, like, the stupid things I do, or me saying, I'm gonna do a stupid thing, and then I don't actually mean to do it, and I'm like, oh, shit, I fucking did it on accident. <laughs> like, I was like, wouldn't it be funny if I shattered this picture at the bar, and then I was wearing that glass shards of that picture, and I was like, oh, I did it. <laughs> oh, you got me drunk, Tony. Break me good. <laughs> How? It's super funny to see the difference between... Regular Tony and Drunk Tony, and then the regular Tannen and Drunk Tannen, because they both act entirely different. Tan gets, like, almost responsible, but he's very irresponsible with money. He buys a lot of nice things for himself. No, I have seen that. Yes. I do, I do you, remember that he told me that he changed his pass. He changes his password, like, frequently, because Drunk Tannen will get on, like, you know, any website and just buy shit. He came home to a cardigan one day and goes, where the fuck did this come from? Looked at the receipt, found like how much it was and like where it came from. So he started looking for the email, found it in his deleted bin. Oh, yeah, well, I know. Yeah, he's <laughs> told me that he, yeah, he deletes the stuff after he buys it. So that way, there's no proof that he bought it. 
<laughs> See, you would like Drunk Tony, because it's like that, except I'm really mean to my sober self. I hate sober me when I'm drunk as much Ooh. as you do. So, like, well, I remember this. Okay. I'll just do random shit. Like, I went into my room one time and just started throwing all of my clothes out of the drawers, and CJ's like, why the hell are you doing this? I was like, because sober Tony's going to have to pick it all up <laughs> while he's hung over. And I climbed into bed and passed out. Didn't you hurt yourself one time? Because, and you went, Dude, sober Tony's going to feel that. I straight up threw myself into a wall as hard as I could, and everybody's like, what are you doing? And I was like, sober Tony's going to be sore tomorrow. I walked away. And, or like, <laughs> I texted, I text, like I would text just random girls in my phone and be like, "Hey, I think I've always had a thing for you." And they're like, "You have a crush on this girl?" I'm like, "Nope, but I'm gonna have to deal with it tomorrow." <laughs> and then I delete the text. <laughs> <laughs> like, just doing. Drunk Tony's the best. Just doing things okay. just to fuck with myself for no reason. Just self hate. Out of out the ass. Well, see, okay, all those things though. I, I feel like when you said the ounce of confidence thing, I think that still gets thrown out the window by stupidity and this <laughs> bullshit. Where if you this do that bullshit. stuff anyway, you might as well just call that confidence. Cause fuck, man, you're doing confident things. Talk yeah, Tony's <laughs> rad. <laughs> He's it's, rad. It's He's, always an experience afterwards. <laughs> like, oh, what I do? Awesome, what I do yo. last night? <laughs> you're either on the side of drunk Tony. Or you just get really mad at Drunk Tony. Yeah, that's pretty much it. There's no in-between. There's no people that are like, oh, I ran into Drunk Tony, and it was, it was all right. It's either, wow, that was really fun, or, oh, my God, I hate that guy. He needs to <laughs> apologize Drunk to Tony me away from me at all times. He needs to apologize to, to me tomorrow. <laughs> and it's always case by case. Nobody just, like, conditionally hates or loves me when I'm drunk because I could be doing something that you love one night and then piss you off to no end the next night. <laughs> like, it's always a toss-up. Or great. just... A couple hours in between. Yeah, like, Buddy was having a really good time with me, and then in a 20-minute car ride home, I pissed him off so much that he walked from my house to his house. I, as soon as I got home, I looked at I looked at Drew, because he had to come here, and said, thank you for coming getting us, this is all your fucking problem now, <laughs> and I closed the door behind me, took my shirt off, and I walked the fuck home. I Why'd you take your shirt off? Because it's fucking hot, and I am pale as what I am pale fucking white. And if anyone's gonna run me over, because there's no sidewalks. Fair enough. Yeah. I hear this is your fucking problem a lot when I'm drunk. I get <laughs> no, no, you don't. Passed, no, no, no. I get you passed don't around. Hear it. Uh, no, I you hear, hear it, it like to someone else. Yeah, 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 no, they're not saying it to me. It's like a like a foster Passing parent giving the it to the next foster See, parent. That's like this kid's a fucking child. Wreck. I want drunk Brandon and drunk Tony to know each other. Are they gonna yeah. fuck? Yeah, yeah. You're gonna be like Tony. You won't fuck Brandon. <laughs> no, no. It'll have to be the opposite. It'll be like, well, the we're only, not gonna have sex, right? And I think like, the only yeah. <laughs> well, I think the only interaction with drunk Brandon you've ever had was when we were at Tappers, and that's all I licked my fucking ear, dog. Yeah. <laughs> I did not, dog. Remember <laughs> licking your you're ear? Licking my ear, dog. <laughs> to be fair, you did. Yeah, you were all licked him his ear. To be fair, he was really funny. If you're funny, you can get yeah, in my pants. Tony. That's yeah. all there is to it. And then you were super handsy with Elena. And then, okay, and then she left me this. with and you. Joe. And I was just looking. Like, she switched to the other side of you, <laughs> of me. And then you just, like, immediately switched to me. And I looked at her, and she just mouthed, please. Mm -hmm. And I was like, fine. <laughs> Cho looked at me later and goes, he got really close to my mouth. <laughs> you got, like, here to him? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was like... This is, like, my, like, first interaction with Brandon. Like, I didn't know how to feel about that. And yeah, I like, Brandon fun. has zero personal space. I will give you, you didn't get, like, ridiculously handsy. Well, like, everybody keeps a saying little handsy. Too much, a little too much with her, but then she also has a thing with that. So, it, it was way too much for her specifically. Elena hates me, doesn't she? Oh, absolutely. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't help that you texted her an apology, and I'm pretty sure you called her the wrong name in it. No, I said Elena. I just spelt it wrong. She How told me that it? you called her the wrong name, like you forgot her name. <laughs> no, I just spelled <laughs> like, Brandon texted me drunk. to apologize, and I was like, that's awesome. And she's like, he, he called me the wrong name. It's like, less awesome, but it's the thought that counts. <laughs> it's, it's, that, that made us par for Brandon. That's good. Yeah, that explains that okay. then. I tried to... I, I had a couple Japanese students, and, you know, most of them barely speak any English, if at all. Mm -hmm. And You um, can't get away with raping anybody. <laughs> 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 
And I... <laughs> that escalated quickly. God, Ramey. <laughs> Ray, I said it. Well, you said that, and then Ramey said, who are they going to tell? <laughs> that was the joke, though. <laughs> I didn't even hear that. I was reiterating the joke. I, it just sounded worse that way. Blake sounded pretty bad, but then you've been like, ha ha, who are they going to tell? Oh, who are they going to tell? They have to learn English first. We just saw this recording. So I just wanted to speak to them so I could talk to their parents. <laughs> like, anything they say is a lie. I don't believe them. <laughs> And so I tried to Facebook message Elena and ask her if she could teach me Japanese. Could you teach me? Could you, <laughs> can you teach me these words? I need no one will believe you. I need you to teach me two, Jap- two Japanese sentences. One, don't believe them. <laughs> Don't tell your parents. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Take such a fucking dark turn. <laughs> so there was a story behind that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had asked her if she can teach me some Japanese, and she just never responded. Yes, yes. So she 100% hates me. Awesome. I don't think she hates you. She's just like, I don't want to... Do that. I liked it better when it was you were raping Japanese kids. That story had no luster to it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I didn't think that it was going to get that far. I feel mean, like you guys took it to an extreme. I think it was well worth it. I thought it was better that way. I agree. <laughs> I, I don't know if you text Elena those exact two sentences. I feel like she would want to talk to you even less. Yeah, no. You, she could like, hate you more, is I all le- I'm saying. I legitimately just suck at spelling. Like, you can ask Blake. I ask him all the time. He's a weird. Like, <laughs> I can spell Blake's name all the time. I don't know. Blake, how do you spell your name? B L C K? Gotcha. Black. No, he's just like a spell check. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know true. why, but he just has the Blake, natural spell ability. Banana. Uh. Uh, uh, V-A-G-I-N-A-S. Nice! You got it! <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> That's it for the podcast! Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, That's a good it. way to end it, is just spell vagina. <laughs> no, we spelled banana. <laughs> that was banana. That was banana. He clearly said it. <laughs> I, I would like for you to go to a national spell B convention or Get something. Get all the way to the final round of the last words, like, oh, banana. B A G I N A S. Just spell whatever the last word is. You spell P S. Was it worth it for the bit? Yes. <laughs> you don't even spell the final. Just say it. Just one other kid. I like I like the way that Ramy just did that. Where they like say automatopoeia, and he's like vaginas. <laughs> Instead of spelling it, you just say it. Well, I was thinking question it. Where they're like automatopoeia, and you're like vaginas. And they're like no, the word was automatopoeia. Can you use that in a sentence, please? <laughs> you didn't even use vaginas in that sentence. The man stuck his penis in her automatopoeia. <laughs> That's what I thought you said. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs>